What's going on? Every oh. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Gamer Duo here, welcoming you back to another episode of the Saga Lock. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day, and another episode of John likes to record right before he has to go to work. So, uh, hashtag, good job me. Um, but I had some green beans, which are sitting right here with me. Yas, some tomatoes. Yes. Um, honestly, I've had, I've actually had some healthy food, and then a Hot Pocket, which is not healthy at all. But whatever. We had good healthy food. Other than that. And I got my water right next to me. We're out here. We're gonna have a good day. I closed today. Because it's Thursday again. Um, because Thursday apparently is my close, or my, uh, not my closing day. I already do that. But apparently Thursday is the day that I just want to record. Um, because this is the fourth week in a row that I've recorded on a Thursday. But, anyways, that's besides the point. We got our boys, Gary, with Surf, Zap Cannon, Dark Void Cut. We have Taylor with Thunderbolt Return, Thundershock, Natural Gift. Lazy Larry with slash slack off night slash fly. Nickname with Thunder Punch, Psycho Put, Psycho Cut. Imagine if there was a move called Psycho Cut or a Punch. Horn Attack, Thunder Wave. Seth, Triple Kick, Dragon Claw, Fairy Cutter, Magnitude. And then Sniper with Crab Hammer, Dizzy Punch, Night Slash, Drain Punch. Honestly, I do like our team. I think our team is kind of in that kind of fun mindset of just blah, 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 blah. But, you know, speaking of a fun and adorable mindset... Uh, but I love the music in here. Sorry. I'm going to like chill, hang out, have a good time. But, um, it's episode 169. So, I was debating on whether or not we talk about me being thirsty half the time. That's why I'm drinking my water. Definitely. Or, we're going to talk about just random stuff that literally has no meaning. Um, which is a joke. Because any, like, things actually have meaning. And, uh... Especially when we're, like, going into an area where everybody's, like, in the 20s except for the admins. Like, honestly, if there's a time to BS and talk and not have to worry about life in general, other than having to go to work, um, and John being awkward, um, this is the time. So, we are just kind of here. Sniper, get out here. You're the, you have fighting type moves. You can bust through this Arceus, no problem. The um, Arceus types aren't a thing yet. That's in Gen 6, so we chill. We, we're we fine. Bye. Have a great life, Arceus. Oh my god, you actually... You actually did not die. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, so anyways, back on topic. Um, I think I'm going to talk about both. So, work has always been kind of fun. Also, good to know that we're fighting Arceuses like the entire time because these don't change. Um, but... It's kind of crazy, because at work... Okay, so I said some stupid things at work. Okay, so my first week of the month was not actually crazy at all. Like, that's... And that scares the living daylights out of me, because... Y'all know me on first week of the month. I'm freaking out. I am, like, a, a classic corn dog, and we are freaking insane. I wasn't like that this first week of the month. At all. Now, mind you, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that my my light switch wasn't turned on and that was due to my uh the person who turned that light switch on and off was not present that week so i guess that helps a lot but anyways um the main thing was just because there was no Troy. My fixation was on Bowser. Fictional character. Love him. Literally. Um, hi, Machoke. Um, I realize I have Truant. Um, yeah, uh, I gotta swap anyways, so. I don't really have anybody to swap into, though. I guess I just deal with my mistakes. Yeah, dealing with my mistakes was the best option. Okay, so. Anyways, so Troy came back, um, on... <coughs> Sunday. <laughs> Would have been the day he came back. Mind you, I worked on Sunday. It was fine. We were good. Like, it, nothing happened because I didn't really see him that much. I saw him for like 10 minutes. So, again, all I was like, I, I literally asked him, Hey, what were you doing? How was your vacay? And all that stuff. Right? Because, of course, you talk about the vacay and how it was. Like, 
Why wouldn't you? Uh, Joy's gonna be mad at me if I don't get this item. Um, but yeah. So was, it was fine. And then I left. It was a good day. Yesterday! Um, okay, okay. I was non-existent, like, half the day yesterday. And I talked to Joy about this. And it was in my Discord, like, cus not custom settings. What? Custom status. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Where I was like, I don't even know what day of the week it is. Like, I am out of it. So, anyways... Tacoma, which is like 45, 40 minutes away from me, I, that might be an over-exaggeration, uh, might be closer to 30, but anyways, they, that city was having problems with power, right? And like, you know, if the city's having problems with power, darkness happens. Well, my butt said, I enjoy the dark because I... Especially when you can only see one feet in front of you because there's no external consequences. Which is literally code for I hope it gets dark so I can fuck you. Like that was that was what that was code for. Um didn't probably need to say it, but today's the day that we're gonna just talk about the stuff. It's 169, okay? Like we're fine. Um and but they literally that we talked about that. So that was the thing. That like it was I just kind of made it of, which is like, what the frick, John? Like, what are you doing? Like, yes. Uh, okay. Like, you did, you just did that. Congratulations. Um, but it's just like funny to me. Cause there's just like, so I texted Joy and I was like, oh my God, I literally said this to Troy and like, what the heck am I on right now? Like, just it like, I, cause I'm not. I am not one for being expressive in the public eye, right? And so that's why I was like, if it's dark, this would be a great opportunity for X. Because I would feel comfortable. Because it's dark. And nobody would know that we're just hanging out in the corner of the store. Hence why I always have stockroom fever dreams. Because, again, it's the stock room. Nobody's going to see you. Elevator. That's fine, too. As long as you stop the elevator. Like, again, I'm one of those... Pra it, 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 and, again, this is weird because I'm talking about this. Um, but I'm more of a private individual. Oh, nice. They turn blue when they're, like, activated off. Okay. Uh, but, yeah. So, I'm more of a private individual. So, my thought process is always... Well, I kind of, if I can avoid it, I will um, avoid the attention and avoid the grab. So, I think I can just go downstairs and that will be fine. Yes. Okay, they updated this. Oh, he heals you. Great. Thanks for healing me like that little damage. But you know what? I can't complain. But, so yeah, I am. I'm one of those people that thoroughly enjoy that kind of, like, privacy. Like, uh, like, my favorite part, that's, and I've talked about this on a multitude of occasions, is alone at the house with no worries, which I get that this way, yes! Of course there's gonna be, like, literally episode 170, so I, I might publish things back to back on purpose, but that's fine! No, I can't actually do that, which is annoying, I can't capitalize on the opportunity that I have presented, because I've been lazy, um, and have had school, and all this other things, like, and honestly, it's just been my laziness, um, because I've had plenty of opportunities to record, but then I'm like, I don't want the game to crash, and I make a bunch of excuses for why, I'm like, I don't want to wait my progress or anything, it's just like, John, just do your thing, literally just do the thing, you'll be fine, it'll be chill, but, Again, I can't be as expressive if I'm not alone at the house. I can't be crazy. And a lot of that, again, is my want for privacy, quote, quote, quote. Um, and again, it's not like... It's it's a, it's a weird conundrum. But uh, what, what, the, the words that are coming out of my mouth are very intriguing because I, I'm sounding way smarter than, like usual. But yeah, it's a conundrum. So, oh wait, are you not? You are the one. Uh, you are the one that gives me the password. 
Oopsies. I'm gonna give you one of the passwords to the boss room after you beat my Lugia. Okay, bye Lugia, have a great time. Radicate Tail. I wish I didn't have to fight these people in order to have that happen. But then again, it's like, is it a good thing to have that or is it a bad thing to have it? Like, I don't, I'm not 100% sure how I necessarily feel about that. But yeah, so anyways, it's a, it's a big kind of conundrum and silly to me for me to be like, I want to make sure that I'm talking in private about this thing so that way I can tell the public about it. Yeah! And it's like, John, what the fuck? Like... How does that make sense? Like, if you want to give me a five-page report on how it makes sense to talk um, about things in private while talking to the public, let me know. Let me know why that, that why it's okay for me to not, you know... Like, is it, like, the sense of privacy? Or is it, like... Like, what is it that's causing that? Um, For all you introverts in the world, let me know what you guys think. Like, are you more expressive when you're in private? Like, like alone, by yourself. Like, will you actually take the time to just think about everything? And, like, why do you have a Vulpix and a Ninetales on the same team? Anyways, talk about everything. Figure out all that is, like, that you want to talk about. And then when you're in private or when you're in a voice call, you're more expressive and want to actually speak and actually feel comfortable. Because, again, I'm reading this book called Quiet. Which is about introversion, as you all know. And one of the main things is that introverts online can actually appear like not introverts. Because of the fact that they, there is a much more comfortability where the, in, where the extroverts are like, eh, what are you doing and why are we doing this and what's the point? And <clears throat> like, I want to go see them physically. And it's just like, I don't need to see you all physically. Um... If anything, like, conventions and stuff, they they make me uncomfortable. It, it provides the opposite effect. Um, because I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, uh, 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 there's too many people. Uh, 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 what if somebody sees me? What if somebody knows me? Like, I have a bunch of different reactions to the multitude of people. And it's something that I find interesting because as soon as like i feel like i have a problem or there's something wrong or something going on like i am quick to be like Ugh, and then get out of there like okay so prime example i went to a retro gaming convention with my dad i had a great time with him it was really fun um i got to take my dad out um to it because my dad the reason why i have and have had the retro gaming things that I have, like this bad boy that I'm going to go pull out real quick for the sake of show and tell. Like, this is a Sega Master System from 1986, okay? So this, this bad boy is almost 40 freaking years old and works, by the way, and has a game in it right now um, because I actually I haven't played it in maybe a year, but still. It is a bad boy that does a lot of good things. And I, unfortunately, I can't find my favorite game right now. Um, which, it was at the convention, and I was thinking about buying it. But I'm like, I know I have it at the house somewhere. So, I'm not going to buy something that I have at the house somewhere. Anyway, back to the point. So, I took him out to a retro gaming convention. And, honestly, the convention itself was kind of meh. Kind of. Ah, that's really overestimating it. It was very meh. Um, but part of the fun was the one-on-one -on -one time with Dad, right? Dad was... I was able to talk to him, get to know his thought processes, the way that he thinks about things, and the way that everything goes, right? Because I honestly don't feel like I actively try to get that um and it's unfortunate because i mean it would be great to know how my dad thinks and the way that he thinks and the reasons for why he thinks a certain way so i picked it i was picking his brain a bit 
um, about like the way he, he works with his friends, the way that his brain goes about things. Now, um, he's definitely more. I can't find the word. It's a good thing, though. Um, I was going to say more opinionated, but that's not the right word. He Oh, he sticks to his guns a lot more. There you go. And that's a really good thing. That's a great quality to have. I, I do wish I had a little bit more of that, where you stick to your guns and you kind of do things and you stick to it. Um, and again, I'm very good at, at doing my own thing and sticking to my guns when it comes to certain opinions and we've discussed this before and we've discussed those situations before right the opinions on you know how things should work how things should go why things need to be a certain way i'm pretty good at opening up and telling you hey this is my thought process and why but i also can be easily proven wrong because of my issues with self-doubt my issues with uh, figuring out, like, when to be solid and when to be not solid. Um, and honestly, I will be 100% honest with you. Fortune of Street, the game that I am super heavily into and have been into for the last year and a half, almost two years at this point, has strengthened that because you look at a uh, thing in the frame of mind of situational awareness. This is the situation that I have presented. Here's where I want to act. And the last game I actually played last night um, was a ranked game. I got first, but you had to... But in the, the way that I got first was completely different because I had a goal in mind. That goal being... I don't really have anything to build up. I'm already seen as the threat. So let's just ride off of everybody else. And then, once I'm not seen as the threat anymore, build myself up to win. So, that is exactly how I did it. Because immediately in that game, one of the players pinpointed me as the threat. You're the threat. And I was like, frick, gosh dang it. And of course they said it out loud. So, that's even greater. Um, also, that's a shaman, and that's a problem for my team. Um, I guess I gotta go into Lazy Larry. Anyway, so they pinpointed me as the threat. They made me the threat, which made everybody else focus on me. So, I can't focus on myself if everybody else is focused on me, right? So, you just allow... You focus on the other people. And that's how I won. So, it was... Why is everything a power trick? Like, what the heck? So... It was most definitely a positive game for me because of the way that I went about that game. And I, honestly, I could have and possibly should have um, kind of tried to go more aggressive. But because being passive could have gotten me second place. But I guaranteed myself no less than second. And I'm pretty good at that in Fortune Street. Um, honestly, at this point, oh, the, it goes away. I'm sure because people have literally just been stuck on that Pokemon and been like, oh my gosh, why can't I find a way to the door? And it's like, just talk to the Murkrow, okay? So now the Murkrow talks to you. That's cool. So yeah, so anyways, um, so I'm trying to learn how to be more aggressive, um, in terms of... Or, not aggressive. That's not the right word. Be more confident. That's the better word. Um, and dad, dad certainly will help me with that. Um, in a lot of ways. And I think that that... Continuing to strengthen the foundation of that relationship... Um, is gonna be a positive thing for both of us. So yeah, so anyway. It is exciting to kind of see where things are. Oh, it tells you to take the shortcut. Cool. But yeah, so anyway, I, I, I just, I do enjoy uh, 
Oh, the, the Murkrow just does it for you. Ariana, hold it right there. Oh, Ariana. Ariana, are you really about to do this to me? Ariana, why? Oh, wait, it's just a single battle. No, it is a double battle. Cool, cool, cool. Sell me a Jolteon. Um. Uh. Well, this makes things interesting. Cherim, attack the Jolteon, please. Thank you for doing the right thing. Wow! Oh my god, you're level 46! <laughs> this is not even a fight! What is this? You are level 46! Also, ding! That, that Drago hurt. Jeez. I might as well just let this, like, Celebi just take over. Like, there is no point. I didn't realize he was level 46. Dude, if he had, a, like, a move that hit both, both of us, oh. That could have been really bad. We have to make the electrode fate, and I feel bad. I do, too. Don't worry, buddy. But we get to pick one! So, risk and reward time. Nope, not picking this, but that is freaking hilarious. Okay. Oh, that's a hard choice for me. It's quad weak to water and grass. We already have problems with grass types. Grass types do hurt the team a lot. But this is a solid Pokemon. Literally, it's rock solid. Um, so it becomes, how do I want to go about this decision? Because I am forced to try for the next, or get the next one, if I say no to this. So I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say that I want this Pokemon. That this is the one that I'm going to want. But this is not going to be an easy capture. Yeah, we're getting... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Bruh, Jonas had it happen to, with a dark type. That is fine. You know, that is okay. Because it's a dark type and he should expect it. But... I had it happen with a rock and ground type. Excuse me? Also, I know I just personally attacked Jonas, but dark types. That's a completely different situation. One you can prep for. What the hell? I swear. I swear, if I said yes to this and screwed myself out of a great Pokemon because of the way that I'm doing this. Ha! Never mind. I wouldn't have wanted this anyway. Work chill. I'm okay with that. But still, that's actually BS. The way that I just lost that Pokemon. But jeesh. Okay, game. I see your thought process. Now you take on the mahogany gym. Uh, that will be saved for the next episode. Because I have five minutes before I have to leave for work. But luckily, I made sure that I was all ready to go beforehand. Uh, and I could have gotten an encounter, but no. At this point, it's whatever. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Sorry for personally attacking Jonas right at the very end. Uh, Joy and uh, everybody. Um, but, you know, that's... It's been the... It's, it's just the mood, okay? It's like...
it's the mood. Anyways, I love you all. Keep up the amazing work that you guys do. <laughs> love you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>